everybody, it is Aiden here from Trap Gaming with a Battle for Zendikar pre-release kit opening. I'm going to open this and then build a deck out of it. Please, if you enjoy, like and subscribe to my channel, which is Trap Gaming. It really helps us out. And let's get right to it. Unfortunately, <coughs> I missed my pre-release because I was at the shore with my friends. But, this time, I get to open a pre-release kit, which seems awesome. Please tell me, guys, about your pre-release. Um, how you did, how it did it go well, did you have a good deck, how many, what good pulls did you get? Our foil rare is Fathom Feeder. It's the two mana, a blue and a black Eldrazi. 1-1 one, one, with the Void, Death Touch, and Ingest. And then you can pay 5 to draw a card. And each opponent exiles the top card of his or her library. So I'll put that over there with the rares. Let's get right to the first pack. Take the rares out. Take the little die out. And put this part over here. Pretty sure you open it like that. This is so confusing. Okay, there you go. First pack. I'm going to separate everything into colors. First pack we get. What do we get? Ooh, we get Munda Ambush Leader, which is a great red white ally card. Uh, we're going to go green, blue, black, red, green, land. Colorless. Or wait, color should go over here. Black. Multicolored. Ooh, that looks that works good with this rare. And we got a foil pilgrim's eye. We did not get any white cards in that. Mm, but you get a plain land. <laughs> wow. Okay. Munda Abush Leader is our rare. It's a three four four four. Two generic, a red and a white for a legendary creature core ally. <clears throat> With haste and rally, whenever Munda ambush leader or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may look at the top four cards of your library. If you do reveal any number of those ally cards from among them, then put those cards on top of your library in any order and the rest on the bottom. And then we got an Eldrazi Scion and a Plains. Next pack. So there's six booster packs in this. So. Let me go that, 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 that. Well, now we get a white card. More white cards. Getting these approach is so good. Ooh. Land, wait, land, let's go over here. Okay, our rares bring to light. Three generic, a green, and a blue for a sorcery with Converge. Search your library for a creature, instant, or sorcery card equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast a creature, instant, or sorcery card. Spent to cast Bring the Light. Exile that card, then shuffle your library. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So basically, that enables... We got a 1-1 one, one core ally token. That is basically what um, the deck Five Color Bring the Light is made up of. It's called Bring the Light for a reason. So basically it's five color good stuff that you search up with Bring the Light and then you have like an extra place out of every card. Red looks pretty good. Especially with this red white allies may be really good with this. Um, oh my god. Well, we got an Obnixilus. So, three generic, two black for a Planeswalker Nexilus. I don't know why they didn't say Ob. Uh, with five loyalty to start off with. It's plus one as you draw a card and lose a life. It's negative three. 
is destroy target creature. And it's negative eight. Target opponent gets an emblem with whenever a player draws a card, you lose two life. So, wow, that's amazing. And we got an insert. We might even have to go Mardu allies just because Rob next to us. So good. So good. This is great for Mardu allies too, Colustria Healer. This is also great, Zolapart Cutthroat. And Carithal is not that bad. Our rare is the Land Prairie Stream, the new dual land, the blue white one. Not really good and limited. Because unless you're playing blue white, which I doubt we will. Okay, I accidentally did in the wrong order. But our rare is <clears throat> our rare is Felidar Silver. The six mana four six with vigilance and lifelink. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have forty more life, you win the game. Crazy card to build around. Looks like we have a pretty good kind of ally build. With a Eldrazi Sion token. And our last pack. Getting a lot of red and white cards. Also, let's get complete disregard. <clears throat> Our rare is Ugin's Insight. We got a foil mist intruder. Ugin's Insight is a five mana sorcery. Scry X, where X is the highest converted mana cost among permanents you control. <clears throat> Then draw three cards. Okay, now out of the cards we got, I'm gonna going to try to build a deck out of the cards that we got. I think it's safe to go. Um, Mardu allies. So just gonna move these cards to the side. Anything that's not and the colors that we need, just because I think we have the best chance of getting a good deck with Mario allies. I think these are actually pretty good lambs. <clears throat> that is out. And then this is out. Wait, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, my bad. I can use this one too. Hmm. So, so we're definitely going to use these. That's for sure. You got some great cards for Mardu Ally deck. I would run this, this, and this, and a standard Mardu Ally deck. Complete Disregard is good. Um, Zalaport Cutthroat and Colostria Hillier is good. And then the rest are maybe, because I don't know if I want to go Aldrazi, too. Because Aldrazi seems really good out of the stuff we pulled. So Fire Mental Mage is actually really good. Reckless Cohort. I saw we got a lot of them. Reckless Cohort and Reckless Cohort. And then here is the white where we where we got most of our good stuff. <clears throat> Card skill scout, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is really good. It's also good. Eh, this is okay. We 
retreat is really good. That is really good. That is also really good. This seems okay if we get three colors. Gideon's approach is really good. Spoonhaven Mystic is okay, and that's really good. The only times, I mean, maybe I can go Fortified Rampart just because it's a good blocker. And then, so out of 40 cards right now, we have basically, so 17 lands. Out of 23 cards, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25, so that means we should take out three cards. Put these to the side. I'm not gonna use these cards. 17 or 18 lands. I think 17 yeah. lands. Because three colors. I don't know. I think... Unified Front is okay. Fortified Ramper we could take out. We could take out... Maybe the Kite Skill. Kite Sail Scouts. If we have another one. So I'll keep in the fortified rampart. Okay, so that seems like the base of the deck. Um, all you would have to do is put in lands. It seems like you've got a put in basics regarding how much white and black and red you have. It seems like you've got a strong white base with all your allies they seem to be really good especially with three core castigators they're pretty aggressive uh complete disregard is great removal you got the zulaport cut through and the colostria healer which are amazing allies um fire mantle mage gives all your guys menace the reckless cohorts are just there because they're allies um albnixilis amazing munda also amazing. Resolute Blade Master has Rally, and whenever that or another ally enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain double strike. And then we have followed our server in. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe to our channel, which is Trap Gaming. Have a good day. Bye.